and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be what is in our Christmas Eve forward slash December box for Christmas. Now I have five young children. If you do happen to be new around here, they're ages one, three, four, six and eight. And yeah, we tend to give it to our children in about four weeks before Christmas. And we just find that way they get to use everything that's in the Christmas basket. So pajamas, they get to eat the things that are in it, crafting activities. It just basically makes sense. It's a way of joining in with that Christmas Eve basket tradition but without overspending which is really really easy to do over the Christmas period isn't it so I'm just basically going to share what I put into it the basket itself that I use is actually a really really old blanket box I picked it up in a boot sale for about five pounds and painted it up and that was a good nine or ten years ago but you can use a basket you can pick them up everywhere supermarkets everywhere has them and yeah basically I'm just going to share with you what I put into it and you can take elements from that I'm no way saying that you have to put everything in to that and I've gathered bits and pieces over the year as you will see too. The only thing I can't show you today are the pyjamas but I will make sure to include those in a different haul later on. So anyway let's get cracking and see what's in their Christmas Eve box. So this is the Christmas Eve basket that I spoke about and yeah I've tried to make it as pretty as possible for you but obviously it will be all set up differently for them and I tend to put these things in categories. I will make up some little chocolate bits and pieces, crafts will go into a sack, kind of segregate it and the same with the Christmas pyjamas and they will go into the kids sacks over there. Um, but that is everything just laid out and then I'm going to talk you through everything individually and hopefully you get a few ideas from it. This is the blanket box that I spoke about and yeah it's very very rustic but it's just a part of Christmas just like everything else to us now. It sits under stairs in the cloakroom and it will hold all this tat and bits and pieces so that the house isn't a mess. So it comes in really really handy. Also this is one of the Christmas throws that comes inside it and we always keep that there all year. And also all the children's um, personalised Christmas sacks and we just use those from the first year they're born and they come out every single year. So basically in the box we have a few bits and pieces that come out every year. So of course the main man Mr Elfie he comes out in this little it's like a little baking pot. I think I've had about three four years and yeah that's where he sits in our kitchen. So he sits on top of the china cabinet and just keeps an eye on everything that's going on basically. This here, little Teddy, I think it was a Build-A-Bear one and Dylan had that, I think it's about seven years old now. So he's a bit worse for wear. Again, he comes out every single year. And the same with this cushion. I think I've only had him for about three years now and he sits on the miniature sofa downstairs. And sometimes the kids get up and steal Elfie and he goes to the cushion. But, so I would usually just have it all inside and then a few bits and pieces that are breakable outside. So we've seen the sacks and then also this comes out in the same date and this is our event calendar and obviously I make up what we're going to have in it every day. They get a chocolate event calendar so I don't actually put chocolate in it. That will be a mixture of things that they can do on the day. Sometimes it's just really really simple just to bring it back a bit. Other times it's given so it could be food bank. So I did a video last year on that, I'll link down below but yeah it comes out too and it will incorporate a lot of it already here. Also. I picked up this little sign this year in Poundland. It was only a pound and yeah, we'll be able to just put messages on that every day. And then sleeps until Christmas and yeah, they just love the countdown every day, don't they? Even though you've got the advent calendar, there's something about sleeps until Christmas. You can get these in all sorts. One year when we were going to Euro Disney, we had sleeps until Euro Disney and yeah, you can get all sorts. Whatever their thing is, you can get them online. I think it was about two pound eBay. And then this is actually a new buy. So this is Elf Surveillance. That was £2 in b and so I'll just show you the box in case you're wanting something similar. And basically it flashes light and it's just another part of the whole Elf on the Shelf. But I don't have anything like that. So that's why I picked it up. And I thought it'd be good to just bring that down with Elfie straight away. That's one of the kids' plates. I will probably put a few little treats on that for them. And that's just, yeah, their Elf kind of plate. The same with the little Santa snacks. And I've put some candy canes in that. So that usually sits out with the bits and pieces okay so advent calendar wise i just went really really simple i do this every year we have got that other advent calendar which we can make more experience wise but i'm not buying like specific 10 pound plus advent calendars every year so kinderton they're only 89p again they're home bargains and available everywhere else these are actually nut free chocolate which is really really good so transformers for dylan Paw Patrol for Jude, PJ Masks for Wee Sunny, LOL Dolls of course for Lola and then Baby Pearl's too young for chocolate yet so next year she'll get to join in. 
then you can't have a Christmas Eve box or December box without having your Christmas lists. You can pick these up absolutely anywhere. I think they're about 50p in home bargains and Poundland you get I think a, a lot more in a particular pack and they're again a pound. But I picked these up in the sale 10p each last year and knew they were worthwhile just picking up. These are from last year. They're Elf on the Shelf Snap Game cards and yeah they're just loads and loads of fun. Poundland for a pound. Again I picked these up last year in the sale. They were 10 or 20p and I always just split them up and have a little cracker each for them as well but you can get a six pack of crackers for a pound anywhere whatever characters you kind of want to go for then we always have to have a DVD this we have had this for years and years so that's the official elf story one and um, that comes along with if you have that type of elf but you can pick up elves anywhere these days and you could get that DVD and it's great because there's a storybook which you can read but I think the kids get really fascinated just watching the DVD particularly my youngest two boys they will watch that again and again and again so that is good fun this year usually I pick whatever's the big release like Christmas wise but we went and seen the Grinch there the other weekend they loved it so I just went for these little cheap ones that I got in Poundland and it is the cat in the hat was a pound both all these ones were a pound basically Snow Queen and Snow King so we have loads downstairs anyway in the DVD cabinet so it's just a few extra new ones that they can watch and then whatever's new out we'll probably watch on Sky or whatever as well but that is the main one that has to come out every single year. Then all the Christmas books need to come out just like the DVDs. And I've got quite a few of these musical ones. So all of them actually really enjoy them. The Noisy Christmas. One of them's actually annoying. I can't remember which one. It just goes on and on and a loop. So these are probably more suitable for the youngest boys. And then I really like that 12 Days of Christmas. Well, let's try it out. Yeah, that's the good one. It just does a little sound. Then, of course, for Baby Pearl, that's not my reindeer. I think we maybe had that from Dylan or Lola. So it's really, really old another we won the perfect Christmas tree I really like this set actually it's a set of five and I think it was only five pound I've had it a couple of years 12 days of Christmas there's a nativity thing in it as well and yeah a couple of really good classics they do have a few others on their bookshelves as well that we'll pull out but these ones only come out the musical ones at Christmas and the same as that one as well so just another thing that I didn't have to purchase if you're starting out you could just pick up one book and add to it if you need to and these are really good I nearly always go to TK Maxx for these kind of books here or the works so then into stuff that I bought this year. They've had these for the last couple of years. But obviously with wash mitts you need to replace them. So I got the Santa and the Rudolph. They will be for the youngest boys actually. Because they're always in the bath. So the Santa and the Rudolph for them. And they're a pound in home bargains. And then these ones. Because Dylan and Lola take showers during the week more. On like busy school nights. Snowman and then Rudolph. They usually have about four different characters. I haven't been able to get them in my stores locally. It's the first year I got this little one it's a soap dispenser so I just thought for in the bathroom I don't really like having little tacky bits of, like that about but the kids will enjoy it and they're obviously always washing their hands these I got last year they're really good it's a set of six bath fizzers and they're only a pound and they're in the shape of little gingerbread men or snowmen what are they sorry snowmen and Christmas trees and they're actually just really nice and I always just pop in a little Christmas decoration for each of them and I'd say previously in other years I went OTT, maybe like five, seven pound decorations. So I kept them really low priced this year. This one Dylan will love. It's just from Georgia Dazda and it was only two pound. Then if you've watched my hauls, some of these are from Poundland. So that is for the boys, the two little dinosaurs. They were a pound each, obviously. This fits in with the Christmas tree that's in Lola's room perfectly. So the pale blues and the pink. So that for a pound I thought was great. And then Baby Pearl because there's a little area that's for Baby Pearl and it's all kind of like fluffy and angels I just picked up that really simple one there it was a set of three but I just picked up the one and I'm actually going to put a little P in pearl writing for pearl so always a little Christmas decoration so then on to their little glass jars for drinking out of and then their little trays as well which is perfect for snack time so if I was starting out doing a Christmas Eve box and I really wanted to keep it on a low budget these are probably what I would go for so I had to replace just the one this year. So they're all last year's. I had to replace that one. So heads up, they don't go in the dishwasher. You maybe will get away with it once or twice, but no, we ruined one of them. So thankfully they had them back in this year. I cannot for the life of me remember who's who. I'm thinking the two L's must be the youngest boys, but I can't think who matches up with which tray. Again, these little trays, they're something like 50p just in home bargains. And these are the four different ones that I got last year. 
I've seen them again and I think there's a couple of different in the range so you could pick those up again so for the two of those that's under £1.50 basically for both the little things if you were just doing like pyjamas you could have pyjamas that and put a couple of little snacks and things I think it'd be really cute for Christmas Eve basket but yeah basically I put that on it they could maybe have crackers or maybe little treats someday and it does hold hot chocolate because it's glass and won't melt so I do prefer the glass Baby Pearl does actually have a wee Christmas set coming from Amazon, so she's getting a little bigger with it because I couldn't leave her out in this, but it just hasn't arrived yet. If you watch my haul, this is another new thing that I got this year, and it's a set of four, and they are $2.99 home bargains. I'm actually going to go back and pick up another set because I want one for Baby Pearl, and then I'll give the other three to my sister for her ones, but I just think they're so, so cute, and I've a couple of ideas for those, but I'm going to open them out and let you see, and I'm just putting a little chocolate egg in each of them for them. I'm going to have to do some serious detective work and figure out whose tray and glasses whose and then match them up with the wee appropriate bucket but actually it isn't an egg it's just these little hollow filled with smarties that I got for the boys and then I had seen that for Lola and I just know she would like the lol chocolate one so much so just them filled up them and I picked up for each of the four biggest ones a little lolly these are like marshmallow and covered in like sweeteners and things and they were 89p so they will go in a little box of sweeties for them this comes out every single year I think that was Poundland last year so I changed the tin that I was using and these are cutters that I've used in previous years this one I think it's maybe a um, Melissa and Dog it came with a set obviously that's for gingerbread making and then these little ones these would have been from like a cheap store B&M's or somewhere like that for a pound so you can pick them up anywhere and they're just great for baking and things sometimes to be honest the boys just use the shape cutters for play-doh and things as well and then these I get these every year too they're 89p in home bargains and you've got like little gingerbread men all your red and white candy sticks all that kind of thing so just a little baking set so like I said, everything you can either eat it, use it, craft it. So there are things that I would have been buying in December anyway. And again, the same with this little set. And I will actually take them out of the box and put a couple of these in each of their little box, which I'm going to show you now. And they were, I think, a pound or 89p in home bargains. I haven't seen any in Poundland this year, but yeah, I pick them up every year. And they're another good thing if in December, at the end of December, you see them, just pick them up for 10, 20p as usual and yes that is all for baking I do I've misplaced it I can't find it for the life of me I have like a spatula and a couple of other little bits and pieces for the kitchen so it's probably in one of the boxes so I do need to check for that usually I make up like a little cellophane bag with like some sweets and things and then I bake a few things this year what I'm going to do is try this out so these are little paper gingerbread houses as you can see they were pound for four in home bargains and I'm going to make those up and then split up some of these sweets and things that I picked up so also I've seen these these were I think they were 80p in home bargains again and I just thought I'd put one of those in each of it as well and I'm making a few buns and also little chocolate dippers for their chocolate melters actually or stairs whatever they're called for their hot chocolates so I will do those just a couple of days before I wouldn't make it all up now obviously it'll melt in the heat and things when I have it hidden away so one of those each will go in the little boxes and then this is all the sweetie chocolate type stuff that I picked up they're obviously they don't get sweets every single day so there's no way they could have all that I will split it up and then keep the rest stored away particularly if there's friends or people over as well but this is all the kind of festive themed stuff that I've seen so Oreos snowy covered Oreos and then these fingers so they're split chocolate and white chocolate they'd be brilliant for decorating your gingerbread house actually some little Maryland minis I presume they're just normal it's just got Christmas packaging like they like to do Haribo festive mix I think they were two pound everything else is about a pound there then this will be a fun one to do actually this is Tesco's Christmas tree lollipop kit and I think it was maybe £2.50 or £3 but what I do know in Tesco's at the minute is with their Christmas range they've loads of different like baking activities for Christmas it's two for three so you could pick up quite a few of those if you're not into baking yourself you could just do all these easy things and I thought this would be so good so it's got everything there to save me the hassle and we could make the little Christmas trees and I'll put that as something to do on the advent calendar one of the days festive mix of Haribo I think they're normal Haribo they've just got festive names to be honest these are the gummies from the Grinch and obviously they watched the movie and loved it so they will definitely get one or two in their little gingerbread box these mallows I think they're just look really nice they're like sugar coated on the top so again for their hot chocolates and things a few of those and then lastly 
the Grinch lollipops. So one or two of those as well. Actually, by the time I break that all up, they probably will get to eat most of that over December alongside me and my husband too, when you think about it. But and then on to crafting. So I curtailed it this year. Sometimes they go a bit crazy with what they could do over December and stuff. And I think they make so much in school, actually, that I thought I would get this to start with. And if we need, we'll pick up more. So always going to use the little festive pipe cleaners, Poundlands, one pound. Again, this was a character type thing. That will be definitely the youngest boys. And then I know Lola will make this, probably Dylan too. And that is make your own Christmas baubles, the unicorn themed ones. So she can maybe make one for herself and baby Pearl. She'll enjoy that. It says six plus, but I don't see. It's probably little small sequins and things. A set of 750 stickers. And then this I thought was really good. It was a pound in Home Bargains again. Make your own gingerbread house. And basically it's all little felt bits and just sticky on bits and pieces. So that is everything. I've just got one or two things to arrive for baby pearl actually to make up the difference but as you can see so much of that was stuff that I'd had for years and I've just added to it each year and pulled back in other areas there was other areas I think there was things I was doing too much of as well and there's no need to basically I will also just make up their little packages and scatter a few chocolate coins and little chocolate snowmen about as well and they'll be really pleased with that so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you already do the Christmas Eve basket tradition let me know what all you put inside yours I would love to hear and of course if if you're new around here and you're enjoying this Christmas content do make sure to hit subscribe as I'll be doing lots more videos like these throughout December but as always thank you very much for watching guys